It's luck. I'm worried that she might be in big trouble. She's high up, really high up. I think she's in a tree somewhere, a big one, like that oak in the middle of our territory. What? The great oak? Oh no. If she really is up there, then she could be in serious danger. Flame, this isn't funny. Ash, I'm telling the truth. She's really up there. I saw it. Last time I had a dream like this, my parents died. But why would that be up there? She knows better than that. This is all my fault. She took off today because of me. She said she'd prove herself, but I never thought she'd do something like this. We have to get to her before anything happens. There's trouble. Raven and Ivy said all the apprentices have left camp to go and do some sort of climbing contest at the Great Oak. It's true. Mm, they left a little while ago. He said they wanted to have some fun before they became full guards and hunters. And Luck seemed pretty desperate to go. And she really did leave with them after that? Are you sure? Yes! The entire thing was her idea! Raven and I didn't want to go because we remembered what you told us about how dangerous it is, and we tried to tell the others, but they wouldn't listen. Oh, please don't tell them we told you. They'll kill us. You two did the right thing telling me. I'm proud of both of you. You've handled this well. Never be afraid to come to me, especially if someone's in danger, okay? What you did today was very brave. This really is all my fault. She was trying to prove herself to me because of how I treated her. Then why don't we stop talking like a bunch of elders and go help her? If my sister's in danger, we need to go now. I made a promise to protect her, and I don't intend to break it now. Thank the spirits you're here. We were just about to run back to camp for help. Luck's up high, way too high, and we don't know what to do. I don't think she could come down. She's so scared. Why did you guys even do something like this? Don't you remember all the times we warned you about such things? Ash, please, what matters right now is Luck. We have to help her. Luck, Luck, it's me, Ash. I'm gonna come up there and get you, okay? Just hold on, you'll be fine. Ash, I'm gonna fool. The branch, it, it's breaking. Hold on, Luck. I'm almost there. Ash, Ash, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disobey, I swear. I just wanted to prove that I'm just simple and a son. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you, Luck, I promise. Just hold still until I can reach you. We can talk about this later. Luck! No, 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 Luck! Luck! Aren't you listening? I said we can't move her. Her injuries are too severe. If we try to move her, we might just... Oh, Luck. I'm so, so sorry. I shouldn't have treated you so poorly. I... I was a terrible mentor. But I am proud of you, Luck. I should have made them more clear, but I... I just... It's all right now, Daisy. I knew... I knew that you'd never see me the same way that you saw Sun. Do you really think that matters anymore? I see now. I understand. I felt like I needed everyone's approval. I felt like I always had something to prove to my clanmates. But all that worrying over what others thought distracted me from the one cat whose approval I really needed. Myself. I'm the one living this life. The only cat I should have worried about was me. I don't need you to tell me I'm just as important as Sun Daisy because for the first time in my life I believe that I am. I believe in myself and that's all I ever needed. Oh Luck, I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you like I promised. You were there for me, Ash. Every step of the way. What are you talking about, Luck? I failed you. You couldn't fail me, Ash. No matter what, I love you. Just needed a chance to see what you saw in me, and now I do. You believed in me always, and now I do too. Thank you, Ash, for giving me that chance. Thank you for everything. Look, I... <sighs> Look, look, no, 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 look, please don't leave me yet. I need you. You still have so much to look forward to, so much left to do. We both do, together. I can't lose you, Luck, please. I... I think it's time for me to look after you, Ash. I love you. 
You're the best big brother anyone could have asked for. She... She's gone. My sister was one of the best and brightest cats I've ever known. She was beautiful and thoughtful, and I wish I could have had more time with her. If our sister Willow was here, I know she'd say the same. I was going to talk about how Luck and I used to make up fun rhymes to help her remember the different names of all the herbs, but I think it'd be better if we all just shared our favorite memories of her, all the good times she brought us. So if anyone wants to, feel free to come up and share your thoughts. Luck was my best friend. She was kind and fun, and she really loved every one of her clanmates. I remember how we used to get in so much trouble as kids. <laughs> Ash and Cream could never keep up with us. <laughs> I really wish I had stopped her from climbing that tree. I'm so sorry, Luck. You know, when I said I'd be a healer's apprentice, I was really shocked, but now I see why cats like doing this stuff. It really feels great helping your clanmates like this. Well, Luck, I am proud of how you and Sun handled this. It's good for the clan to have new members. Where did you say Sun went? I didn't. Oh, well, when you find her, can you ask her to come help me sort through this moss and take it to the nursery? I need someone to check on the kids. A few of them might have a cold. I could help you, Daisy. I love the nursery. No, that's all right. Sun will do fine by herself. <sighs> I shouldn't have pushed you away. Do you need any help today, Daisy? I've been practicing with Ash, and I think I have some of those herbs memorized. I- No, Luck. Sun said she'd do it. Why don't you get to work learning the different types of wound infections a cat can get? I asked some of the elders to help you. If anyone knows about infections, it's Rose and Sand. But I did that yesterday. I wanted to help sort out the herbs today to show you how much I've learned. No, maybe some other time, Luck. I don't have time to sit around and help you right now. You'd better run along. You don't want to keep the elders waiting. You know how impatient they get. Okay. I should have let you do more. Luck, you need to start working harder at this if you're ever going to succeed. Why can't you just... <sighs> don't you see how well Sun does? Why don't you try being a little more like her? Why are you always comparing me to Sun? I try just as hard as she does, but you don't even care. It's like I don't exist to you. It's always Sun this and Sun that. I am not Sun. I am luck. Luck. I have a name, Daisy. And feelings, so why do you ever treat me like it? I should have never treated you like that. Please, give me luck. I saw how talented luck was the moment I met her. She was so smart and so happy as a kid. I had no idea she was hurting so much. But I would have tried harder to cheer her up. I'm deeply sorry for the loss that not only her friends have suffered, but for the clan as well. I'll miss you, Luck. <laughs> I can still remember all the nights I lost sleep thanks to those crazy kids. But really, she was a great apprentice. She always listened to Sand and I's stories, changed our bedding, and brought us prey. I'll miss her. I too remember how rambunctious you kids were. <laughs> mm. She was a kind one. Luck. A little distractible, but she was a hard worker and always gave it her all. As painful as this loss is, it has taught us all a valuable lesson. From now on, no apprentice, no matter how old, is allowed to leave camp without supervision by a fully trained, ranked member of our clan. And furthermore, the apprentices involved in today's happenings have shown that they are clearly not ready to move on to be full hunters and guards. Their training and rank are hereby suspended until further notice. This clan cannot rely on cats so willing to risk their own lives and the lives of others for some cheap moments of excitement. You should all take something out of this horrible tragedy. Let it be a lesson to all of us. Never forget how precious a life is. Rest in peace, Luck. Those who haven't been assigned to Luck's burial may return to their dens for the night.
I'm sorry for your loss, Daisy. Luck was a good apprentice, and I believe that she would have been a great healer someday. Don't you get it, Fang? It's my fault she's dead. It's all my fault. Daisy, what are you talking about? How could this have been your fault? I pushed her too hard. She was upset and went to climb that stupid tree because of me. Because of how I treated her. Daisy, what happened to Luck was terrible, but it wasn't your fault. You couldn't have known how she was feeling. And she chose to climb that tree. She knew the risks. I did know how she was feeling. I just chose to ignore it. Does that sound like something a good mentor would do? All she ever wanted was for me to believe in her, and I didn't. I killed her. It was my fault. Daisy, please. You're not to blame for this. No one is. It was a horrible accident. No, you don't understand, Fing. No one understands. I just can't anymore. I'm sorry. I just need some time to think. Daisy, wait! I feel so horrible about all this. This isn't the first time this has happened, you know? I had a dream right before my family was. Well, I couldn't save them either. I don't know why this is happening to me, and I don't want it to, but I can't help it. Maybe I'm cursed. I just can't take watching anyone else die. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Ash, is that you? Sickness. Death. And betrayal shall surge throughout, bringing your clan to the brink of extinction. In your greatest hour of need, darkness will fall. And in your sorrow, they will take their long sought revenge. Don't worry, little fox. You're safe with me. I needed to bring you here so I could talk to you, face to face. Who are you? Where is here? Where we are is of little concern. As for me, I'm mourning. I was once a member of Feral Clan. I had a wonderful life and a loving mate. And I died giving birth to our beautiful kids. But I didn't bring you here to talk about me. I have something important to tell you, Flame. Like that voice I heard just now? What did it mean? What's gonna happen to us? I am afraid I can't reveal too much, little one. But I can at least help you to know the part you'll play in the trials to come. You are very important to this clan, Flame. And without your gift, they soon would be lost. You are the light that will guide them through the dark times ahead. Your dreams aren't a curse, Flame. You have the power of foresight. You can see into the future and prevent things from happening. I don't understand. How can my dreams help the clan? That is something you'll have to find out for yourself. And once you do, you'll be able to protect your clan against dangers that only you can see. Your clan needs you, Flame. Now go! Grow up! Spend your life serving your clan! Guide them! Protect them! And about Luck, I am truly sorry that you had to lose her. She hunts with us now. She is happy here, reunited with her parents. Tell Daisy not to blame herself for Luck's death and... If you get the chance, tell Fang that I miss him. And that he's done a great job raising our kids. I will, Morning. I promise. And thank you. What a fool I was to ever hope I could be like you, Gold. What kind of mentor kills her own apprentice? <laughs> Is she there with you now, Gold? Is she... Is she happy now? It's like I don't exist to you. It's always sun this and sun that. I am not sun. I am luck. Luck. I have a name, Daisy. And feelings. So why do you ever treat me like it? I'm sorry. I should have listened. I will prove to you that someone's no better than me. I will prove it to all of you someday. 
You deserve better than me. You'll never see me as you see how, how you're so sorry.